Welcome to the top 10 fastest checkmates. Each entry on this list is the oldest documented example of a game with the given move count that I have managed to find. If you can find any games older than these, please let me know as I love mating real fast. There are no known images of most of the players in this list, so I will be using historically accurate and respectful stand-ins for them. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first game in this list is De Legale against the Big Cheese up here. There's some controversy over whether this game was actually played in 1750 or a little bit later in the same century, but regardless, it's 13 moves to mate. De Legale has taken his rook off the board to give the cheese some more chances. Um, now one more thing, the trap that he employs in this game is now known as the Legale Trap, uh, so it's a well-known game. He goes e4, the Holy Cheese replies with e5. We have knight to f3 and then d6, and a little bit more controversy. Some German authors in the 19th century thinks that the knight was played here first, but we'll go with the older documented move order, which is bishop to c4. We have g6 from the holy cheese, and now knight to c3. And here the cheese pins the knight, or so he thinks, and uh, de Legale puts his hand on the knight here, and he starts to move it, and he says, Oh no, my queen! And immediately his opponent says, You touched it, you gotta move it. That's not a legal move if you move anything else. And so de Legale reluctantly captures the pawn. The cheese immediately captures the queen, which is, of course, what de Legale wants. He captures the pawn here with the bishop, delivering a check. The bishop is backed up by the knight here. And so the king's only got one square to go to, e7. And 13th move, de Legale delivers the checkmate with his knight. So delivering the mate, this square's covered, the bishop's <laughs> defended, the bishop's covering this square and this square, and the knight's covering the last square. So very nice mate indeed. Let's move on to the next game in the list. In at number nine, we have a game played in 1802 between our old friend anonymous Guy Fawkes and Dumont up here, who seems like an aristocratic sort of a gentleman. Let's see how Guy gets on this time. He plays f4, immediately weakening his dark squares. So Dumont says, have a pawn, which Guy accepts. Dumont says, have another pawn, which Guy accepts. And uh, here Dumont develops his dark square bishop, which was his plan all along. He wants to get on the weak uh, uh, dark square diagonals. Um, Guy attempts to defend by pushing his g-pawn. Uh, Dumont develops his queen, which is already on the dark squares too. And here Anonymous uh, plays knight to c3, which immediately hangs, draws and quarters himself. Uh, the queen captures the pawn, de delivering a check. The pawn captures because it's the only move, and the bishop captures, delivering a checkmate because all of the escape squares are covered by Guy's own pieces. So yeah, very nice, Dumont. Uh, let's see what's at number eight. We are, of course, in historically accurate Scotland for our next game. It's 1893, 11 moves. We have e4, a c5 Sicilian, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, c captures, knight captures. Uh, e pawn attempts to chase away the knight, but the knight only comes forward. And McGann defends with knight on g to e7, but McGrath cries, Freedom! and delivers smother checkmate. Again, the king is blocked by all of its own pieces with the knight de <laughs> delivering the checkmate. So very nice from McGrother. And uh, let's proceed. In at number seven, a game played in Poland in 1902 between a man known only as BR and his opponent, Alexander Wagner. It's 10 moves and BR Ewing opens with E4. We have E5, F4, so the king's gambit, which Wagner accepts. And now bishop to C4. Queen to h4 with check, and some of these moves might be familiar to you if you've been following the Le Bourdonnais and McDonald saga on this channel. King to f1, and now uh, bishop to c5. And if you've been following the Le Bourdonnais McDonald saga, you, you probably know that d4 is a good move here, which is not what br plays. He plays knight f3 instead, which allows Wagner to checkmate in 10 moves. So good job, Wagner. Better luck next time, BR. Number six, it's Helsinki, Finland, 1934, with Frankel and our old friend Anonymous Guy. It's mate in nine moves. Frankel opens with the English opening, c4. c5 from Guy, knight to c3. And now e6, knight to f3. Anonymous Guy develops his knight to e7. 
and D. Frenkel spots an opportunity. He plays knight to e4, and an anonymous guy doesn't like the horse so close to his border, so he tries to push it away. But all that happens is that D. Frenkel delivers enough of a shock to wake the dead. This is checkmate, and uh, yeah, the king's under attack, and the knight covers the escape square. So very nice from D. Frenkel. Number five, it's Paris, France in 1925 with Mr. Sneezy and Mallard up here. We have e4, e5, f4, king's gambit, but the clever duck declines the gambit. So Mr. Sneezy captures the pawn, but this allows the duck to deliver a check here. Now, instead of blocking with the pawn here, which might have been a better move, Mr. Sneezy pushes his king to e2 and immediately Mallard checkmates him with the queen capturing the pawn so all of these squares covered by the queen and the remaining square covered by the bishop so what a clever duck good job in at number four our flash friend is Giacchino greco we all knew that he'd show up at some point in this list and here he is playing once more poor old whipping boy anonymous guy forks who is taking a little bit of a beating today i have to say now this game was originally written down in italian by greco in the 1620s and it was adapted in a book called The Royal Game of Chess Play in 1656 by Francis Beale. And now I'm going to just read you that chapter in the book. It's titled The Scholar's Mate. Uh, white king's pawn, two houses. Black king's pawn, the same. White queen to the contrary king's rook's fourth house. Black queen's knight to her bishop's third house. White king's bishop to the queen's bishop's fourth house. And now, black king's knight to the king's bishop's third house. White queen takes the contrary king's bishop's pawn, gives mate. There we go. Good job, Greco. Better luck next time, guy. And we're into the top three. It's 1893's Germany with Lindemann versus Echtermeyer. And um, it's mate in six moves, but it comes with some controversy. So let's see. We have e4. D5, Scandinavian defense, so Lindemann captures, and Ektemeyer captures back. And now these first four moves are all fine and completely normal for the Scandinavian defense. And uh, the problem is, Lindemann here wants to play knight f3, but his hand slips and he puts the bishop there instead, which is an illegal move. So uh, the rules of the time said that if you played an illegal move, you had to play a legal king's move to replace it. Uh, Lindemann said, du hast... And Ektemeyer says, yeah, yeah, you have to. So um, the only move he's got is king to e2, which immediately means that he gets slime all over his face with queen to e4 checkmate. Uh, the queen is covering these three squares and also slicing uh, down the center here. So um, yeah, nice and underhand, Ektemeyer, bad luck Lindemann. In second place, we have a game from 1990 in the Netherlands with Hair Clip and Botemar. Now, this is a five-move checkmate, but it seems kind of recent, 1990. So if you know of an older game with a five-move checkmate, then please let me know. But for now, let's see how these guys got on. We have e4 from Hair Clip, f6 from Botemar, weakening his king side, uh, d4 from Hair Clip, continuing to build up in the center, whilst uh, Botemar continues to weaken his king side. So Hair Clip spots the immediate and easy checkmate, queen to h5. Uh, Black's king is being blocked in by all his own pieces and the queen is just straight up delivering the checkmate. So not so good for Bottomar, but uh, very good for Hair Clip. Alice Klar? In first place, who else would it be other than our flash friend Giacchino Greco playing once again poor old anonymous Guy Fawkes? Uh, yeah, so Greco wrote, uh, wrote down this game in the 1620s and it was translated into English by Francis Beale in 1656. So I'll, I'll be using that version because it's English. It's titled The Fool's Mate, and uh, it seems like Greco is feeling sorry for Anonymous Guy by this time and let him play first. So we have Black King's Bishop's Pawn, one house. White King's Pawn, one house. Black King's Knight's Pawn, two houses. A white Queen gives mate at the contrary King's Rook's fourth house. Nicely done, uh, Giacchino Greco. And that's it for the top 10 fastest checkmates. Uh, I'll see you again next time.